flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best to ease their pain. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. 
Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Red with no respect. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many violent. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Another night with the glorious battalion of Pembroke? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor.
Do you require medical assistance, nurse? Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. I wish I could be sick again. Feel yeah. the blood boil with the fever. Damn. The pain. It's here again. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. and thieves. Damn. The pain. Good evening, I sir. Wish I could be sick again. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn. It's locked, all right. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... but we had a disagreement. 
and Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Do you need medical attention, sir? No thanks, sir. Unless you're able to get rid of every rat in London. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Don't worry, we're safe. Let's pin him down! 
site. Safe. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Oh! <laughs> 
this.
Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do.
If only there were more of us, less resignation and more determination. The flower's dying. It needs water.
them? Watch yourselves!